Hello everyone, my name is Sushti and today we will talk about countable and uncountable nouns. I am sure you have heard about this topic before, but I want to give you more examples so that you do not make a mistake when you have to use them in your conversation. So let's quickly begin this. First, let me give you a quick recap from the last video. What is the plural of these nouns? Can you try to recall? Okay, let me help you. Buses, houses, potatoes, umbrellas, church, leaves. L-E-A-V-E-S. I'm sure you remember the spelling too. So this is the chart that helps you to analyze what can be the plural of the singular nouns. And there are some examples written too. Cats, bushes, babies, days, knives, potatoes. So let's just quickly put a plural noun in the in this fill, fill in the blank. There are seven days in a week. London is a city with many churches. Three ladies are waiting for a bus. You need three eggs to bake this chocolate cake. There are three knives on the kitchen table. Moscow and St. Petersburg are the cities in Russia. Isaac eats two sandwiches for lunch every day. The store sells expensive boxes and jewelry. John and Alice are moving houses so that they are packing their clothes into the boxes. I'm sorry, in the ninth statement, it will be expensive watches and jewelry. So like this, we have a clarity on how are we using plural nouns. Now, let's talk about those examples which are already in their plural form. Like, they cannot have a singular form or they cannot even have the spelling in that way. For example, scissors. We always say like this, please give me a pair of scissors. There is no word like scissors. S-C-I-S-S-O-R. There is no word like that. Similarly, I have, I have heard many people, they say, where is my gene? J-E-A-N. Uh, I don't even think that is the word which exists. So we always say, where are my genes or where is my blue pair of genes? Um, in context to this, we have other words like shorts, spectacles or maybe glasses, pajamas, so there is no word like glass or spe uh, spectacle or pyjama. No, that's absolutely incorrect. So be careful that you are using them properly. Also, we have certain words which exist only in the plural form like binoculars, tongs, pliers, pants, or maybe trousers. So trouser, pant, if you are using them, now is the time to change it and use it properly. Where are my glasses? I want to read this book. She told her young son to put on his shorts or maybe pajamas and clean his teeth. Time for bed. In hot weather, many people like to wear shorts and a t-shirt. So if you noticed, I am not using short, pajama or glass. I have to use it in the plural form because it exists in that way. Where are the scissors? My father always wears trousers with a shirt and tie to work. The electrician used pliers to cut the wire. If you cook a barbecue, you can use tongs to clip the sausages and meat. I'm sure this is giving you a great clarity. Sarah and Andrew both wear glasses to read. The mechanic wears overalls when he works on the cars. I like to dress in jeans and a shirt on the weekend. From today, please don't use jean. It is jeans. These words have singular and plural separately, but the examples which I shared in the previous slide they need to be carefully used because they only will exist in their plural form. Apart from that, if there are other words, they can have singular and plural separately. Now, let's match these words with the pictures. 
butter, the first one. Second, orange. Third, rice. Fourth, egg. And fifth is money. Just make a quick observation. We do not have butters, but we have butter. I cannot cook rices. I can only cook rice. I can have many oranges, many eggs, but I cannot have many monies. I can have money. So, if you notice the pattern, there are certain words which do not have S or ES after them. They are used in that manner only because these are referred to as uncountable noun like rice, water, air, wind, snow, rainfall. This will be considered as uncountable noun. And other things like egg, paper, basket, glasses, these can be considered as countable nouns. So they do have a different pattern. They will have S or ES after them. Some more examples which will help you to identify whether these are countable or not. Water, juice, milk, uncountable, soap, orange, coke, countable. Olive oil, music, money, uncountable. Money is countable, you can count. But the word money, it will have only M-O-N-E-Y as the correct spelling. There is no word like M-O-N-E-Y-S or M-O-N-I-E-S. It's absolutely wrong. On the other hand, salt, toothbrush, it is countable. Toothpaste, however, if you're talking about the packaging, if you're talking about the quantity, like I want to purchase toothpaste, um, the, the tubes of toothpaste, then tubes can be countable. How many tubes do you want? I want five tubes of toothpaste. But toothpaste is P-A-S-T-E-S. That is not right because then this paste becomes uncountable. So be careful of what is it that you are using. Milk, cold drink, juice, uncountable. Banana, cheese, uh, the slice of cheese, the cubes of cheese, that is countable. So anything which is in liquid form like this will be uncountable. Uh, remember the spelling M-O-N-I-E-S? It's absolutely wrong. M-O-N-E-Y, that is the only spelling we have. So let me give you some sentences. Roger is eating, is eating a hamburger. Hamburgers is wrong. Roger is eating two hamburgers for lunch today. Ha two hamburgers is right because in the previous sentence, I had a. As you remember, a is the article where we are referring to one particular object or one particular person. So if in the sentence I have a, I can use hamburger. But if I have two or five or ten, whatever, we can use hamburgers. That is correct. So we also need to be careful where is it that we are using the article a uh, or maybe an some more uncountable nouns music we cannot count music rice rices wrong orange oranges correct so with the uh, with one orange we have to use an orange with many oranges we can we, we do not need to use any article we just need to give the quantity Five oranges, ten oranges, or whatsoever the case may be. So let's check the correct or the incorrect sentences. Terence likes to eat bananas. Correct. Tracy likes to eat egg for breakfast. It should be eggs. Can you write a bike? Okay. Music makes people happy. It's absolutely correct. Tristan and Alexa likes to eat cheese and not a cheese. Had there been a cube, had there been cubes of cheese, that would be a different story. But with cheese, it is considered uncountable, so no article. Can you give me a money? No. Can you give me money? No article required here. Heidi made fruit salad with apples and oranges. If it is not one in quantity, we will not be using and before it. Trudy drinks milk every morning. I can't read well. And I need to buy glasses. I want to buy a blue jeans. This is right. David loves to eat soup. Right. Uh, actually, it should be David loves to drink soup. 
can you please buy bread not a bread it is bread without article so try to guess from these pictures what is it that is countable and what is it that is not countable chocolate milk mayonnaise ketchup cream uncountable donut countable spinach actually will be uncountable but if you if you give it a quantity 1 kg half kilogram whatever then it can be countable to certain extent some more for you salt uncountable bottle of salt can be countable chili uncountable onion countable iced tea pepper uncountable bread it can be countable two slices of bread two packets of bread like this so let's try to fill the articles together My name is James. I like to eat a banana with yogurt for breakfast. My sister likes to eat a fruit like an apple or an orange in the morning. My mom usually does not eat breakfast. She prefers to eat a bread and cheese. My father never eats breakfast at home during the week, but on Saturday and Sunday he loves to eat sausages, eggs and baked beans. so i'm sure now you are able to understand where we are using a an or no article please keep on practicing like like this we will we'll be sharing more videos for your better understanding we are creating this on the simplest possible level so that things become easy for you to understand please like and subscribe to our channel thank you and good day